In our final example in this series where we find the truth value from a written statement, we ended off with question C where it reads, the art show was enjoyable, but the room was hot. We have two components making up this sentence. The first component is that the art show was enjoyable, but the room was hot. We'll call this component P and this component Q, and they're separated by but, which is a conjunction, much like and. So we have P and Q. Just like before, to find the truth value, we need to construct the truth table. And since we have two components here, we raise 2 to the power of 2, where n is equal to 2, and you end up with four different combinations for our truth table. I'll write down P and Q. They get their own column. And just like before, one of the possibilities is true, true. Another is true, false. False, true, and both false. In the last column of our truth table, we'll write down P and Q. To fill this in, you first have to analyze P. You ask yourself, is P true? Now notice that there's no tilde here, so you ask if P is true. It is. On the contrary, had it been tilde P instead, you would ask, is P false? Just keep that in mind for future reference. Now is Q true? It is. Because P and Q are separated by a conjunction and, they both need to be true in order for this whole thing to be true. So this should be true. That's an arrow. Let's ask again. Is that true? It is. Is Q true? It's not. Since they're not both true, this is false. That's false, so I don't even care about Q. Is that true? It's not. And neither is Q. So the only truth value is that both of these are true for the statement to be true. And there you have it. That is how to find the truth value from a written statement.